this video, we are going to talk about how you can start selling your digital product using Shopify. From adding your products to create a branded storefront, I will show you everything in the video. So make sure you don't miss any part of it. Let's get started. First of all, we'll need a Shopify trial to create our store. To do that, click on the first link which is given in the video description. This is an affiliate link which will provide you the latest offers and discounts of Shopify. For example, right now Shopify is giving a $50 credit to their new users, which you can use on their app store. You'll also get one month of Shopify trial for just $1 using the below given link. You only need to enter your email here and then click on the start free trial button. Next, select a strong password for your store. Then choose your country and then click on create Shopify account. Next, Shopify will ask you some basic questions related to your business, which you can skip by clicking on this next button. Next, it will ask you to select a plan for your store. For beginners, I recommend the basic plan. For now, I will skip this part as well. This will take us to the Shopify dashboard from where we can set up and manage our storefront. On the left-hand side, you can see these options. This will help us manage our entire store. Next, in the middle, you can see this checklist, which will help you set up your Shopify store. We will simply going to follow this checklist to create our store. The first step on our list is to add a new product. So click on this add product button. This is where you can add your products. First, we need to enter your product title here. Next, we have the product description. If you don't have a product description yet, you can use the Shopify AI to write your product description. You only need to enter your product-related keywords and features here. Next, we have the tone option, so choose one of these options. Next, we can add special instructions here. For example, we can ask AI to add emojis into the description, and then click on Generate. Now, this Shopify AI will create a product description for us. Now, if you are not satisfied with the result, you can generate it again. For now, we will keep it. Next, we have the media option, where we can upload all the product images and videos. And once the photos and videos uploaded here, you can simply rearrange them as per your preference. Next, you can see that Shopify has automatically categorized this product as a productivity software. You can change it if you want to, but I will leave this empty for now. Next, we have the price section, where we need to add the price of our product. You can also add some compare at price here as well, but make sure to put your selling price in this price tab. Next, I will untick this box, as I don't want to charge taxes on this product, and I recommend that you also do the same. Next up, we have the inventory, where we can choose whether we want to track product quantity or not. These settings are not so important for digital products anyway. The only important setting for us will be in the shipping tab. Here, we need to uncheck this box as our product is a digital product. Next, we have a variant section, which is not that important for us. At last, we have the search engine settings. This is important as the information you put here will be displayed in search engines like Google. And then make sure to hit the save button to save all your changes. Also make sure that your product status is set to active. All right. The next step for us will be to install an app that will allow us to sell digital products. To do that, you need to click on apps on the left and then search for digital download. This will take us to the Shopify app store where you can see a lot of apps that will help you sell your digital products. For the sake of this video, we're going to use this app called SkyPilot. As you can see, this product has a free plan which we are going to use. And when you scroll down, you'll see all the information related to the free plan. So, click on this Install button to install the app. Then again, click on Install, and then the SkyPilot app will be added to your Shopify dashboard. On the left-hand side, click on this pin icon so that this app will be added to this left menu. Then, you need to go to Products, and then select the product that we added recently. On the right-hand side, click on Upload, and then select the file that you want to deliver to your customers. Next, you need to scroll down a little and then enable this button so that every order gets marked as fulfilled. Now, on the left-hand side, click on this Settings option. Here's where you can enable or disable some settings based on your preferences. 
First up, we have the default download limit, which limits the number of times a person can download your product. I will set it to three, but normally five times is also fine. Next, when you scroll down, you'll see this order status and thank you page button. You need to make sure that this button is enabled. And then you can also change this button text. For example, instead of access digital content, I can write download your file and then hit the save button. Next, you need to go to email settings. Once the customer places his order, he will get the product into his given email. And we can customize the email using these options. For example, you can add your brand logo from here. Next, you can add your brand color from here, and then you can also increase your button radius. We also have text alignment settings and other settings as well. Feel free to spend some time designing this email as it will represent your brand. Here, I will again change the button text. And then, you can also customize your text message based on the product that you're selling. And then we have some other settings as well. You can go through all the settings and apply changes if you want to. But for now, I will leave this here and move on to the next step. On the left-hand side, you'll see this online store option. When you click on this little eye icon, you'll be taken to this page. This is the default look of our Shopify store. When you scroll down, you'll see your product. Now, if you click on the product image, it will take you to the product page. This is the current product page of the store that contains all the images and descriptions that we added earlier. And if you click on this Buy Now button, you'll be taken to the checkout page where you can enter your email and other details to get access to the product. Now, as you can see, it says that this store can't accept payment right now. That's because we haven't added any payment gateways to our store yet. To receive the payment, we need to add a payment gateway to our store. I will show you how to do it later on. First of all, I want to change the design of this store. You see, the current design of our store is not looking attractive at all. I want to give this a professional look so that more people will pay attention to it. To do that, I am going to use a page builder called Gem Pages. This is one of the best page builders for Shopify, and you can create a premium quality storefront with this tool in less than 10 minutes. So, I will now click on Apps on the left and then search for Gem Pages. Now, click on this Gem Pages landing page builder. This is the Gem Pages page builder that we are going to use to design our store. Gem Pages does have a free plan for their users, which is great for beginners. Now I will simply click on this Install button, and then I will click on Install once again to fully install this app on our store. This is the Gem Pages dashboard. I know it's a little bit intimidating for beginners, but you'll get used to it very soon. To design our page, we need to click on this Create New Page option. Now Gem Pages will show us some of its templates. If you want to make your own design, you can choose this blank template. But for the sake of this video, I am going to use a pre-made template to design our store. Gem Pages contain some of the most premium quality templates. I've tried other page builders as well, but Gem Pages templates are the best. You can preview these templates by clicking on this little eye icon. And make sure to preview it on all three devices. And once you like a template that you want to use, then click on Select This Template option on the top right. This will take us to the Gem Pages editor where we can customize this entire template based on our needs. One thing that you'll notice is that Gem Pages has already taken our previously added product and added on this product page. They've added the description and pricing as well. Now, on the left-hand side, you'll see some options. These options will help you design your store. I've already created a detailed tutorial on how the Gem Pages editor actually works, so go ahead and watch it before designing your store. The link is given in the description. For now, just understand that this is a drag and drop page builder and we are using a pre-made template. So we only need to replace these dummy texts and images with our own content. For example, we can select this entire text here and they type in our own text here. Similarly, if you wanna change an image, you only need to select it. And then on the left-hand side, you can click on this upload button and then upload your own image. Now you only need to go through all these sections and then simply change the texts and replace the images. 
I will also remove these unnecessary sections from this page, as they are not needed. Next, on the left-hand side, you'll see this template option. Here you'll find pre-made blocks and sections for different categories. Let's say that I want to showcase some product reviews on my store. To do that, I will simply go to the testimonial category and then select one of these sections. When you click on this Add to Page button, this pre-made section will automatically be added into your page. And then you can simply drag this section and place it wherever you want. All right, now I will quickly edit all these texts and content. I will delete all the unnecessary elements from this page. I will also paste my own product review here. All right, it took me around 20 minutes to edit this entire page content. And now I can simply click on this Publish button to publish this store on my page. All right, our page is fully published now. To view this page, click on this blue button. And now you can see that our store is now looking much more professional and attractive. One thing that you'll notice is the header and footer of this page. When you scroll to the bottom, you can see the Subscribe section, which is part of Shopify footer. And at the top, you can see the header which contains some welcome message and the store menu. To remove the header and footer, you need to go back to the Gem Pages editor. Then go to the setting. And when you scroll down, you'll see these two boxes. You only need to uncheck these boxes and then click on Apply Settings. Now, if you refresh this page, you'll see that the header and footer are already removed. All right, now you need to make sure that all the buttons of this page are working properly. So click on this Buy Now button, and if it is taking you to the checkout page, then it means that the buttons are working absolutely fine. Now, the next step for us would be to set up this page as our store homepage. So, whenever someone visits our website, they'll directly see this page that we've just created. To do that, go back to your Gem Pages editor and then click on these three dots. You'll see this page clone option. When you click on it, it will ask you to select a page type. In the page type, we need to select the home page. Next, give your page a title and then confirm. And within a couple of seconds, Gem Pages will convert this page into your store home page. But to make this page live, you need to click on this publish button and then also check this box. And then this page will become the official home page of your store. And with this step, the designing part of our store is finally complete. Now we only need to take care of some technical stuff such as adding a payment gateway, adding a domain name to your store, and adding policy pages. We will start with setting up a payment gateway. So let's go back to our Shopify dashboard now and then go to settings on the bottom left. Now, click on the payments option on the left menu. And from here, you can activate a payment gateway for your store. Since this is a development store, I can only add a test payment gateway on this store. To add a real payment gateway, you only need to scroll down to this section. Here you can see that Shopify has already added PayPal as their manual payment gateway. We only need to activate this gateway. So click on this Activate PayPal button. Then again, click on this Activate button. This will take you to the PayPal website where you can simply follow the procedure and connect your PayPal account with Shopify. For now, I will just go back to Shopify and then continue with a test payment gateway. You only need to click on this test payment provider and then click on this Activate button, which will activate a test payment gateway for your store. All right, now let's go back to our Shopify dashboard, and then let's go to our website. Here, we are going to test the payment gateway. To do that, click on this Buy Now button, which will take you to the checkout page. Here, you need to enter your email address first. Next, in the credit card section, you can enter some dummy details. Next, I will add some random billing address, and then I will click on the Pay Now button. As you can see, the thank you message is displayed here, which means that the test payment is complete. All right, now you need to check our email. Here, you can see the email from the Shopify store that we just created. Your customers will get similar emails after they finish the purchase of your digital product. Next, when someone clicks on this button, they'll be taken to the website again where they can simply access the digital product by clicking on this download button. And now, our store setup is almost complete. Now, we only need to go back to the dashboard and follow this checklist to fully launch our online store.
In the Shopify dashboard, you can see that we've completed five out of the eight steps of this checklist. The first remaining step for us is to add a domain name. To do that, click on this Add Domain button. This will take us to the domain settings where you can simply buy a new domain or connect an existing domain. I personally recommend buying a domain from Shopify itself as it gives you some extra features. But if you have already bought a domain from a different website, then you need to connect it with Shopify. I have a separate video on this topic, which I will leave in the description of this video. You can simply follow that to connect your domain to Shopify. Once you connect your domain with Shopify, you can simply head back to the dashboard and then check this point. All right, the remaining task on this list is to add shipping rates. Since we aren't selling any physical products, this doesn't apply to us. So we will leave this as it is. The last step for us is to remove this store password and launch your store. You see, every Shopify store is protected by password and you need to select a Shopify plan to remove it and launch your store. To do that, you need to go to Settings and then go to Plans. Here, click on this Change Plan button, which will show you the different pricing plans of Shopify. Please note that these plans are based on yearly basis, and if you go ahead with monthly plans, it will cost you some extra $10 to $20 on each plan. And by the way, if you use the first link which is given in the video description, then you'll get your first month of Shopify subscription for just $1. And you'll also get a $50 credit that you can spend on the Shopify App Store. Now for beginners, I recommend the basic plan of Shopify. So click on Select Basic Plan. Next, you only need to add your billing details here and then click on Subscribe. If you want to save some more money, then you can choose the yearly billing cycle, which will save you an extra $120. All right, once you made the payment, you can come back to your dashboard and then click on this Remove Password button. Now scroll down to this Password Protection section and then you'll be able to uncheck this box. Then you need to click on this Save button and your store will launch successfully. That's how you can start selling your own digital products on Shopify. Now, if you want to learn about some unique and untapped digital product ideas, then I have already created a video for you that contains the top five untapped digital product ideas that you can start selling on Shopify. Click here to watch that video and I will see you there.